Hi everyone, so in this video uh, we are going to be working on the front part of the hair. So this is going to be probably a shorter video since this part is um, kind of small and it's going to be hopefully fast to do it. So let's, let's jump into it. So here we have um, our model. And I'm going to minimize this a little bit. I'm going to select my scalp and then shift A um, curves. And then I'm going to add another empty hair. And this is going to be um, hair front. And then uh, I'm going to go to scroll mode. And as per usual, we are going to be adding some guides here. Since this area is going to be just for the front, I'm going to be just adding a few. Um, this is going to be medium, like mid, mid length um, hair. So probably we want eight. And we want here probably to put, let's try with three. And let's see how it feels. Kind of short. Let's try um, a little bit longer, maybe four. Or even a little bit longer. And then if it's if afterward it's too long, we can always trim it with the the trim um, modifier. Okay, so we are going to need, and I'm not enabling the symmetry because uh, actually it's not going to be symmetric, so we don't really need it. And uh, I'm going to comb this. Let's see the reference. So, um, yeah, okay, let's see. Just trying to figure out the other side of the hair, the transition, but it's, I think it's, uh, it's all good. Just goes kind of to the side, okay. So let's try to reproduce that. So it goes not just in front, but it goes a little bit to the side and then it goes kind of back again so we want to add like this almost like a <laughs> let's say like a like a belly it has like the curve goes to the front and then to the side and um, to the back. Uh, I'm gonna smooth this one. And probably bring it a little bit more to the front. Okay, <clears throat> and then there is a, there is a uh, tool that uh, that's a new thing that they added with this um, with a new combing sculpting tool and it's to you can actually move or slide a hair strand let's see uh, if it works because some, sometimes it's a little bit but yeah it works so you can actually move your strands if something is not like well placed you can actually move your strands a little bit so in the same way we did the other uh, uh, hair groups or uh, hair systems, I'm going to uh, select my curves, I'm going to select my other curve, and I'm going to do Control L, and I'm going to copy modifiers. And then I'm going to get this weird result because we know that it's copying as well the masks. So let's add a new mask. Uh, 
And here I can remove, ooh, I almost got confused and I was gonna <laughs> remove all of those groups, but yeah, that's, uh, let's add, um, let's call hair, uh, front density. I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need a length, but if we do, then we can add it uh, later. So I'm gonna go to uh, weight paint, uh, weight, uh, we want it at one. And I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna do it in the edit mode because then it's more like, um, see, I can, let me hide those. I'm thinking maybe, maybe I can do like something like this. And then uh, the weight is going to be one. And I, then I can just click assign. And then if we jump to weight paint, now we can see like we have a strong, not that strong though. I don't know. Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. That, yeah, it works like, um, okay, let me, let me try something. I'm going to remove it. And then I'm going to, Press Shift K. No, it doesn't work. Okay, I was just trying to see if um, I could do like um, like when you do vertex uh, painting, you can usually it's yeah Shift K that allows you to paint directly because then it gets it's. Um, it doesn't do the transition. That's uh, that, that was the main point. I didn't want a transition. I want very hard edges here. But um, I guess um, we can manage that in another way. So uh, let's turn everything on. Then let's select uh, our hair front. And then as per usual, I'm gonna come here and update our um, um, masks. So this is front, front density. That's what I didn't want, but uh, hopefully uh, I can fix it with the trim. So this is front. Front density, okay, a little bit better. And then the length, we want this, the, the, we want the, the front a little bit longer. And let's see if we can uh, fix it a little bit, combing. You can see here like uh, our interpolation, it's a little bit. And then because we are elonging the hair, I'm gonna do, I don't really like that because I'm losing control because we are uh, making the hair longer than it is. We are losing control. Uh, it's not really following the guides. So let's go back to five. Um, scale, and then let's let's see if playing a little bit with uh, our stuff makes any difference. So yeah, the noise is the noise is uh, adding some, but well, it's making it look more natural. So I was thinking, okay, see if I do, let's try um, making the hair longer here. Uh, grow shrink it's not really the trim it's not like really doing what I want I like that works a little bit better Mm, 
but here uh, we are losing a little bit control that maybe we can fix it adding another let's add um, another uh, guide and let's let's do it shorter now 35 and add it here and this one it's gonna drive um, so let me just uh, I'm gonna hide some stuff otherwise it's hard to see we have it here it's the one that's straight I'm gonna select just that one Even we can um, hide all of that, and then I'm gonna here. I want to select the whole strand, not just some vertices. And then this one, the combing, it's gonna go behind, like from the back, uh, from the front to the back. And now let's enable everything. And I can see that it's working better, but um, maybe I'm, what I'm gonna do, let's see, um, actually, um, let's paint another mask for the length. I didn't want to do that, but I think uh, we're gonna need it because I would like this hair on the side to be a little bit shorter. Here is working great because it goes from the front to the back, but here it's not not doing exactly what I want. So let's see if we can, and then try to clean the front part too. So I'm gonna select that, that's a scalp. Um, and then I'm gonna add a new hair uh, vertex group. That's gonna be hair front length, okay. Wait. I'm just painting here. So I want full length. Um, I want full length in the front and then in the sides we are gonna do um, maybe a 70%. 70, I think I said 17, 70. And here, and I think that's good. Let's see now when uh, I update the modifier, the mask, if it does something. Uh, so trim hair, cur uh, trim hair curves. Here we want to say front length. And yeah, we are having like shorter hair. That's, yeah, I think that's much better. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here, and in the next video we are gonna convert all of this in uh, hair cards. That's gonna be an interesting one. So, yeah, see you soon, bye bye.